If you have an MPE capable device like my Seaboard Rise, go to Studio, Studio Setup, make sure your device is available under the MIDI port setup. Now click the plus sign and add a new note expression input device. Make sure the MIDI input is set to the device that you want to use. Everything else is okay. Add a new instrument track using an MPE capable synthesizer like Equator. Make sure that your MIDI input channel is set to any since we need all 16 channels for MPE to work. I'll go ahead and record enable my track here so that it records when I hit record. And then I'll create a new MIDI clip. In the clip inspector on the left, make sure that MIDI as note exp is checked. And now let's record something real quick. Now we can double click one of these notes and the note expression editor will show up. Now we need to select the appropriate MIDI data like CC74 or perhaps pitch bend or maybe even the aftertouch. And we can hop over to look at another note to see that all of the same data was independently recorded for that note as well. If you want to add new notes in the MIDI editor, you need to make sure that they are not on channel 1 and that they are not on a channel that other notes are on. Cubase 10 does not automatically select a new channel for each note, so you need to manually do this for each note when you're using MPE. If you do not have an MPE capable input device, add a new track using an MPE capable synthesizer. Set the input channel to channel 2 because Equator hates new notes on channel 1. Create a new MIDI clip. In the MIDI clip inspector, click the expression drop down, followed by MIDI controller setup. And now add CC number 74 to our list because CC 74 along with pitch bend and aftertouch are used for MPE. Add a new MIDI note and then double click for the known expression editor. Now select CC 74 and add some new stuff with the pen tool. Add some pitch bend, add some aftertouch, and then let's see what happens. Cool, there's our working MPE data. Once again, you need to manually make sure that each active MIDI note is on its own MIDI channel between 2 and 16 for this particular synthesizer. Once we have MIDI data recorded, we can do all sorts of cool things, like tilt the left, compress the left, do the same thing to the right, including compress it. We can scale things. We can scale things around an absolute center or a relative center. We can stretch stuff starting at any point that we want. We can add some note release, we can do one-shot mode, which sets a value for the entire note. Vertical and horizontal snapping are both available. And anything you can do to automation, you can do to your note expression, like adding a cool little sine wave here. This is pretty awesome. If you head over to the rogerlindesign.com website, slash ls, slash recommended, slash sounds, dot html, you can find a list of MPE compatible synthesizers that you can use to do MPE compatible things with. And that's about all there is to MPE in Cubase 10. This may change in future versions. Hopefully they make it so inputting new notes has automatic MIDI channel selection, but it's actually pretty good for the most part. So check out the text-based companion article on AdamRumbleby.com, patreon.com slash if you want to support me, or paypal.me slash if you want to give directly, because these videos take a long time and so do the text articles. Have a good day and thank you for watching.